All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. We are going to get started for the Day of Caring 2019 Project Leader webinar. Hey, everyone. My name is Alexia Clapp. I'm a volunteer engagement manager here at United Way. Uh, I'm here with my colleagues Nadia and Nigel. Um, Nadia and I are going to go through some slides with you all, um, and Nigel will be keeping an eye on the chat inbox for us. Um, we've got you all muted for now since we're a pretty big group, um, but feel free to throw any questions uh, in the chat inbox as we go, and we will stop periodically to address them. Uh, we'll also be sending out this PowerPoint um, to Mike Brewer and the Microsoft Give team to email out to you after the presentation so you'll be at, able to access it later if needed. Looks like we... All right, it sounds like some folks can hear and some can't. Um, okay. All right, I think that most folks can hear. And as Alexia said, we'll be sending out a link uh, with this webinar recorded. So if you're having difficulty right now, um, that'll be made available to you at a later time. All right, so in terms of agenda, we're going to be talking about Microsoft and Day of Caring background your role as a project leader, registering and using the website, best practices and resources, and lastly, the Microsoft Volunteer T-shirt distribution. All right, so Day of Caring is the biggest volunteer event in the state. It is a day to promote a volunteer culture in our community to gather groups of amazing volunteers to help lend a hand to nonprofits and make impact. This year's Day of Caring is on September 13th. Day of Caring is all about having a quality volunteer experience and making a big impact in community. Our first Day of Caring was in 1992 with 1,100 volunteers. Day of Caring has been growing a lot since then, and last year we had over 10,500 volunteers in total, and over 5,800 of them came from Microsoft. So Microsoft is a huge partner of Day of Caring, and we are so grateful to have all the volunteers and project leaders who get involved on this day. Who's who? So there are a lot of players in Day of Caring, and we couldn't put this event together without the help and support of our agency partners, our volunteers, and our project leaders. Throughout this process, you can think of United Way as the connector and project manager of Day of Caring. We connect Day of Caring volunteers with meaningful projects and support both volunteers and organizations to ensure everyone has a possible, a positive, meaningful, and impactful experience. We recruit projects from partnering organizations and are the platform where organizations host their volunteer opportunities and volunteers can find, sign up for opportunities that they are interested in. We are here to support you in this process. So if you need any help signing up, finding a project that meets your needs, recruiting volunteers, getting advice on how to have a great day, we are here for you. Your role as the project leader is also very important. As you will be working closely with the agency hosting you to confirm logistics and make sure you both have everything ready and confirmed for day of caring, as well as keeping your volunteer group in the loop about your day of caring project. Project leaders. What is a project leader? A project leader is a person who is in charge of your volunteer group on day of caring. You are responsible for picking a volunteer project, registering yourself, and claiming spots for your group. You are also responsible for then recruiting to fill your project and making sure volunteers sign up on the United Way volunteer site. You will act as the liaison with your host agency, communicate details to your team, 
and make sure everyone is kept in the loop. You will be in charge of picking up Microsoft volunteer t-shirts for your team. And lastly, you make sure the day runs smoothly and everyone has fun volunteering on the 13th. There are a lot of benefits to being a project leader, such as contributing to our local community, demonstrating humility, and showing that your group cares about service. It is also a great opportunity to meet new people and strengthen relationships. It's a way to display your leadership skills by engaging others in volunteering. And lastly, it's a chance to learn about a nonprofit organization and how they're improving our community. All right, so moving on, um, we're gonna talk through the instructions for uh, registering for your project. Uh, since registration kicked off uh, last Thursday, I know many of you have already picked your projects. Uh, we're gonna do a quick review in case you haven't yet had a chance to or are still exploring your options. Uh, step one, browse the website, pick a project uh, and click view details. Uh, and when you find a project that seems like it's gonna be a good fit for your group, uh, click the respond as group button. Um, it'll then prompt you if you're not already logged in uh, to log in or create a volunteer profile. Um, this is the same website that we had last year, so hopefully it's a little familiar, but now you can always reach out for help. Um, it'll then prompt you to enter your group name and a group description. Uh, and finally, after that, uh, you are claiming the spots for your group. This is the final step of that registration. Uh, so you click add member um, and add yourself first, which makes you the project leader. Uh, that can be changed later if it turns out that you are not gonna be leading that group or if you're signing up for a couple different projects on behalf of your team. Uh, you'll answer the questions listed, uh, what company you're with, uh, and since we are all, you all are with Microsoft, your shirt size, um, and finally, very important, uh, it asks how many additional spots you want to claim for your project. So if you are a group of 20, you want to pick 19 uh, so that it's you plus 19 folks uh, for that total group size. Um, note that there may be other groups or individuals volunteering at that project. Um, if that's something that you want to check with us about, feel free to reach out uh, and we can look into who else might be registered for that project for you. Once you register, uh, you'll get an automatic email from noreply at galaxydigital.com uh, confirming your registration. Uh, the agency hosting the project also gets that email. Um, and within a couple days, um, you'll get a detailed confirmation email from United Way, uh, which includes the project leader packet to help you with planning for day of caring. Uh, that email will have the contact information for your host at the organization so you can start um, communications on any logistics uh, for the project. All right. Um. Yep, so we do still have more projects coming in. Um, I can tell you that we had almost 9,000 spots available when we opened registration last week and projects are still uh, coming in. So if you're not seeing what you need, please do continue to um, check back. All right. Uh, so once you've registered, uh, you can always go back and view that project registration uh, by logging in. Uh, you'll see your initials in the top right-hand corner of the page, uh, and if you click that drop-down menu and go to My Groups, um, you'll then see the uh, group that you've registered. Uh, when you click Manage Group, um, that gives you all of the details about who you've got signed up, and it gives you the option to continue to add um, your group members manually or uh, use the Copy Join link to send that out for folks to register themselves. Um, like Nadia said, um, it's really important to, um, you know, 
recruit your full team to fill out those slots that you've claimed, um, but we do need everyone registered uh, by name in the system. Um, you've two options for doing that. Uh, there is the join link um, that you'll find in that manage groups section. You just paste that into an email, um, send it out to your team. If you were looking to recruit, you know, more broadly, you could post it on social media or anywhere else. Um, but folks registering through that join link will be automatically added to your specific team. Um, when someone clicks on the link, they'll need to create an account or log into their existing account uh, in order to see the project uh, and respond so that they're added to your team. Um, you also have the option to add group members manually uh, if you don't want to do it through the join link. Um, just know that you will be asked um, you know, for their email, first, last name, and t-shirt size. Um, so having that ready when you go to do that. Um, we ask you to sign up all your teammates so that the agency knows who to expect, um, and also to satisfy some liability purposes. Uh, you're expected to fill all spots that you claimed. So if you do, you know, find out later that you're not gonna be filling all those spots, please let us know um, so we can adjust your registration and uh, help the vault help the nonprofit find uh, some additional volunteers. A um, little bit of incentive, wanted to highlight that we're gonna be doing a drawing uh, for project leaders who get their teams registered. Um, you'll see on some of our other materials that the deadline for registrations is uh, August 30th, uh, but if you have 80% of your team registered by August 20th, we'll be entering you um, to win one of two $50 gift certificates to Ethan Stowell restaurants. Um, and finally, please um, be sure to, you know, as you get more information from your organization host, uh, communicate those details out to your volunteer group, uh, making sure that they are kept in the loop. We have one question that just came in. If we have more people than slots, there are in an activity, is there a way to reach out to the organization to see if they could host extra hands? Uh, yes, so if you do find yourself in that position, please let your organization host know. Um, do be mindful of the fact that, um, you know, these projects have been posted with, you know, a given capacity and that may be firm for that organization, they may not be able to, you know, fit more people in that room or provide tools outside of uh, the group size that they initially set, uh, but it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, once they have, and if they have approved uh, that request, please let um, us know here at United Way so that we can um, adjust your registration. Um, you'll notice that as a project leader, you don't have that capacity to add spots, uh, that's something only um, my team here at United Way can do. So once you've confirmed that with the organization that they're okay with a few more people, let us know. How would they get in contact with the organization? Uh, and the organization contact information is in your project leader confirmation. Great. So now that we've gone through the registration process and signing up yourself, and your team for a project. Uh, we're gonna move into uh, talking about tips for success as a project leader. So uh, here are some uh, tips for having a successful day of caring. Prior to the project, we recommend that you get everything confirmed with your host organization. Confirm the time frame, lunch plans, driving and parking directions, day of contact information in case anyone gets lost or has issues, and make sure everyone in your group is kept in the loop. One tip for lunch is if you are volunteering with other groups and want to bring lunch for just your group, make sure you coordinate with the agency and have a separate area or conference room where your team can gather for lunch. Also, we highly recommend considering a site visit prior to the project. It is a great opportunity to meet with the agency staff and get a sense of the project and layout 
so you can feel confident in assisting and leading your team on the actual day of caring. We also recommend that you share all the project deal details with your teammates, especially if something has changed since you and your teammates have signed up. Make sure to provide them with the address, directions, parking, and day of contact information. The better the communication and planning, the more smooth your project will run on the 13th. So this graphic just has a day of event checklist that again can help you in preparing for your project. Uh, we also have some additional recommendations that as a project leader, you plan on arriving to the project site 15 minutes early. Review the day's agenda with the organization staff. Finalize last minute details. Greet volunteers as they arrive. Have all volunteers sign in on the Liability Waiver Communications Release. This document is provided in your host to your host organization, and they are asked to print it out for each of you to sign. Introduce participants to the staff organization. Encourage team participants to introduce themselves and to one another. Serve as a leader throughout the day. Be sure everyone is aware of restroom locations, supplies, refreshments, etc. Let participants know who to go to with questions. Encourage breaks, especially if working outdoors. Check in with participants to be sure things are running smoothly. Encourage group interaction and big picture discussion about why this work is important. Be aware of safety and stop any unsafe activities. Motivate and encourage volunteers. Take photos and videos and share with volunteers and United Way after the project about your day. Thank the organization staff for hosting the project. Make sure you have enough time to end the project and clean up. And gather your team for a quick debriefing and reflection at the end of the day. All right, so one change with Day of Caring this year um, is that there are no United Way uh, Day of Caring t-shirts. Um, Microsoft uh, is providing employee volunteer t-shirts to you all. Um, and they'll be sending out uh, more details about this, but right now just mark your calendars. September 9th, t-shirt pickup will be taking place at the Microsoft Redmond campus. Um, and as a project leader, you are asked to uh, pick up t-shirts for your group. So just a review of our, of our timeline here. Um, registration has already opened. I know a lot of you have already been in there and picked out your projects. Uh, we ask that you get all of your teammates registered by August 30th. Um, again, September 9th is when t-shirt pickup will be happening at the Microsoft Redmond campus, with September 11th being the last chance to pick up your t-shirts. Um, and just wanted to repeat that more details about Microsoft t-shirt pickup will be coming from the uh, Microsoft Philanthropies team. Um, Day of Caring, of course, is Friday, September 13th. Here are just a couple additional resources. Uh, you'll get the Project Leader Packet uh, via email as you sign up for projects, um, but it's also linked here. Um, if you have additional questions, you can reach us uh, at dayofcaring at uwkc. Um, Questions specific to Microsoft, for instance, about the t-shirts, uh, can be directed to give at microsoft.com. 